I will say though, the kid thing is probably just one of his goals, like or something I want when like I'm actually completely finished with them. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fair. Anyway, what is up? Welcome to Dreadlord for Life. It is your boy the Strad. And tonight, I do believe, we have uh, a few uh, little bits of brass tacks to get down to. Ah, ah, ah. Last time One, we left two, off, three. they had an encounter with the Strad. And your boy didn't do so well. I got my shit wrecked in like a motherfucker. <laughs> that being said, I have, as they call, as the kids say, the life hack, so I'm okay. In the way, after uh, running away, because I like to evaluate my options, I do believe they went into uh, the room with the Wraith. And the Wraith are uh, wrecked in uh, the shit of the, um, how do you say, the Azimar. However, sometime during that fight, when things looked dire, I don't know. Some, something happened. I, I'm not certain. This, this hasn't happened before, as far as I know. <laughs> well, something definitely happened. I don't know. Like the, like the. Well, I noticed that there was light Halo's before, and now there's no light in the room. Bro, bro, they buried the light deep within. Yes, and the cast aside, whatever the rest of the lyrics are. In any case, this is where we are going to pick up this week, with the lights dimming. And um, well, question: Does any of you have the light spell or torches? I have torches. I have the ever-burning torch. Oh, do you have that out in the moment? I don't have spells anymore. Yeah, I could just take it out. Cool. So yeah, the light in the room goes dim. As hold on, hold on, I got it. Spell. Mm. As, no spells need to be expended, hold on. As uh, Torund, you pull out the, you pull out the torch. Teddy has changed form. Oh, oh shit, what are you doing Teddy? <laughs> so this is going to be uh, how you say a bit of um, this is just kind of cruel irony of sorts yeah give me a I second oh, here like you. I could cast death and sing lights it's a cantrip yeah yeah that that that'd probably be very helpful oh that's uh 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 huh uh-huh. <clears throat> I right. can't see it. Uh, neither can I. Oh shit, Strahd got the teddy! And, um, got to it. Yeah, that's just a... Give me a sec, I'm just gonna go here. Do, 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 Every day, things are getting closer. Oh, when fast in a roller coaster. Alright, cool. So for a minute, in a ten foot wide radius. Um, yeah. Um, Liam, you you cast dancing light as you gather forth the arcane energies it, as it forms the as it forms the how you say need uh, pins and needles in your hands. The sigil of evocation, slightly twisted, appears before, and you thrust forth your hands. And as the arcane energy starts to coalesce into light. This the oddest thing. The light itself takes the shape of a skull, animate as it bleeds from its eyes. You now have uh, dancing lights. That's not normal. No, no, it's not. Oh, that's pretty... No, no, that's normal. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty cool. Even for Why don't you do this all normal. the time? Alrighty. No, that's normal. Tenny. You feel your form shift a bit as the light fades. No longer do you have the halo above your head. Your wings, you note, start to morph a little. The feathers coming undone and instead forming that of leathery bat wings. You feel a liquid sort of ooze out of your eyes. And touching it, it's dark ichor. And shifting about, feeling... It's not a pain, I should say. It's just... Weird. You notice that your hair shifts color. From a nice dark brown to that of a silvery white. And Torrent? As you unveil the flame, and Liam, 
with your dancing lights as you look in. You see a oddly familiar sight. Familiar, not in the sense that it's Tenny, for you know that's who this is. But familiar in that you have not seen... You've not seen this particular image, or something similar enough to it for a long while. For a while, you know, you recognize this, the face, like the facial features, the stature. That's Tenny. But why does she look like Nualia? I mean, it just cracks her neck a little bit and rolls her shoulders. Yep. This isn't what I pictured, but... Alright, Tenny. Here is what you've got from this. Oh, and by the way, your eyes have turned to, like, pitch dot calls. Yeah, that's fair. However, you've gotten something from this. Let's call it a dark blessing. You now... You now count... How, I know, that's, no, that's the wrong phrase. Effectively, both positive and negative energies will now heal you. In other words, if you if someone hits you with the inflict minor wounds, that in instead heals you. That's funny. And if I get healed by normal magic, I heal from that as well. Yep. Positive and cool. negative uh, energy will heal you. That being said, just fight like elemental up, spells will still. Fuck someone you. just runs up and tries to fucking cast inflict wounds on me. They just start seeing my wounds close. Yep. Pants are shit. Oh, that's actually pretty useful. Yeah. Also, what the hell did you do with Tony? Hmm? What are you talking about, Torrent? No, usually Tony isn't this cool. What, what, what did you do with them? Where are they? Right here. I don't know if I believe it or not. Yeah. What are you, what are you making this, Liam? Interesting. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Ravi. You basically see, like, one moment, and he had the halo, but was angelic. Now she's kind of not. What happened? Uh, is, is, are you bad? Are you gonna hurt us? What? No, that's idiotic, Ravi. Uh, I wouldn't appreciate that. That'd be pretty pretty rude. Pretty uh, mean, if you would say. Also, that, built, that, that, uh, that little bitch ghost ran, so that's pretty funny. Oh. That is quite hilarious. I would have rather, yeah. you know, killed it. Well, I mean, I tried to grab it, to grab it but, uh, didn't it's die. Incorporeal. So, I mean, I can grab it with this. Pulls out his, uh, fire hand. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I, do. I, I do. That does seem like it would work. <laughs> yeah. By the way, for those looking at, uh, Tenny, you note that there are, like, two streaks coming down from her eyes that are just kind of I don't know, I guess you can call them, like, um, permanent additions at this point. What, what I'm imagining here is something that I want to draw. Stop making me want to draw this. Um, a good frame of reference is, uh, anyone played Warcraft? Uh, nah. I mean, I have, yeah. at least. Sylvanas. Sylvanas. Let me look that up real quick. Mm. You may know her better as don't the Banshee Queen. Don't ask me queen. to spell it. <laughs> yeah. Banshee Queen will probably get you what you're looking for. But yes, that has indeed happened. As uh. also, Tenny, the holy symbol of Sanrei you have shatters. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, kids, what would, you like, what would you like to do? Uh, so when we get back, are you going to have to explain that to the... Uh... You think you're gonna explain that to the uh, the other people who who like that stuff or I mean, what stuff? Uh, gods and all that junk. I don't know. You seem to be attached to that thing, or at least used to. I don't really have to explain myself to anyone. At least, not that you and the rest of you, obviously. Uh, fair enough, I guess. I mean, if you want to be carrying on, then, uh, say, excuse me. Ah, uh, well, did, 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 yeah, move back, move back, come on, and you guys haven't even done perception in the room yet. 
Perception. Oh, that's the thing. Right. Yeah, My the bad. thing you uh, use to fault. search stuff. Oh, right, searching things. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, yeah, you know. Let me perceive wording. something. Uh, he cracks a table low. Okay, so who got a 20 or above? Not me. I did. 27. Okay, cool. And so, a 29. And a 29. Okay, so you two find this. Okay, so searching around the room, you notice something's a bit odd about this wall over here. I don't notice anything. Specifically at hang on, uh, this point and this point, there appears to be a little crack, as though it looks as though as though it can be pushed in, or there's some sort of mechanism that can be pressed. And uh, Rambe will also move you just uh, that far. Yeah. Yeah. Not that one. Yeah. We'll just move you over here. Sorry. No, you're good. Don't worry, uh, yeah. Rambo. Just uh, move your token over here. And he's gonna try and uh, force the door open, I guess. Yeah. In particular, the two of you also notice like a little indent in the wall that looks as though it can be pressed. Alright, I'll press the indent the first, then. Right. Cool. You press the indent. The wall pushes in and then slides out the way. One moment, please. Congratulations! The two of you have found a secret tunnel. That looks <gasps> like another secret tunnel. Secret tunnel! Secret, secret tunnel! Staircase. Secret staircase! Through the castle! <laughs> secret, 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 secret staircase! Oh yeah! Holy shit! And it's a staircase that appears as though it's a steep looking staircase that goes down. Mm. Well, no time like the present. Tommy just pulls out Irina's bastard sword and yep. Oh, show just you. looks down the hallway a bit further. Yep. Give me a second. I shall describe the thing. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. The staircase of ancient stone is worn smooth through use in ages long forgotten. Dust lies upon the floor, and dry cobwebs choke its passage. The stairs rise at 45 degree angle for a distance of 40 horizontal feet, where they come up to a landing 10 feet square. So, is the party venturing forth? Oh, Liam, you want to come with us? Of course! Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, nothing awesome. else really to do other than explore the rest of this floor, but that could lead to finding Strahd again already. Cool. I mean, I want to find Strahd, I want to kill him. That, yeah, yeah that's but something. I want to kind of rob him first. Yeah, that is true, but we kind of got ambushed while we were robbing him, and that wasn't really cool. Yeah, we one weapon left. Probably would be useful to find another weapon. Alright, so all for robbing him. Yeah, but parts from your old. I mean, I'm all for robbing him. <laughs> he fucking sucks. That's cool. Well, let's go. Alright, in that case, the party ventures forth. Down the stairs. I could cast mending on and the. Oh, it's yeah. The part Shards. Be broken. Uh, I'm gonna be blunt. The penitent one ain't coming back. No, I'm talking about the the. Capacity. Oh, oh, the co oh yeah. E mending will easily fix that. Just like snap back on like a Lego. Oi, are you sure you want to be yeah. in the front? Oi, are you sure you want to be in the front? I feel like we got our roles kind of mixed up here. Look at Liam. So yes. Um, the party heads down 40 feet before coming to that 10 foot uh, square landing before heading down the second set of stairs that continue 30 feet. And I am going to... Okay, hang on a second. Just... Okay. Okay, stop. Stop moving. Please. I'm, I'm trying... I need to get your tokens. I'm sorry. We were trying to move ourselves properly. As I do believe... Let's see you... Uh, heading down... Oh, you're heading down here. Into the bowels of Ravenloft. Oh, that's that's chopper. That's depressing. That's yeah. spare parts. Look spare at that. Parts. And I'm just gonna do that. Uh, 
Okay, there it is. Map is finally settled in. Alright, cool. So, yes. Uh, yeah, you get to about there. And there's another set of stairs that just goes down. What you do, kids? Uh, well, first, I'm, first I'm going to tell you that I can see the whole map. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, one moment, please. I um, mean, you know, I was just going to keep my eyes on uh, myself. Yeah, but it's polite to tell them that you can actually see things I mean, that they don't polite. want you to. Yeah, it is polite. One moment, was please. A wagon for it. I was just, uh, you know, saying. I was looking at myself. In the mirror. Ah, oh, oh, fuck what was it? Bomb. What is the command? Bomb. Oh, I think it's because dynamic lighting got turned on. Give me a moment. There we go. All right, there we are. Oh, there it is. Now I don't. Now I'm not an omnipotent being. There we go. Yes. No. You don't get no, to I'm see one. every fucking thing. Now I'm not the one who sees all. Okay. Cool. Just forget everything you saw. I will erase his memory. I already. I, I actually already have. My my my. Look, place is so like what it's part? so weird. So yes, um, do 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 do. Yeah, but there's a set of stairs. What what do you do? I walk down them. Very well. All right, at the bottom of the stairs, there appears to be a door that is open. Uh, investigate for. Uh, hey, I'll wait. Mark. Just yeah, just wait for everyone else. Oh, okay. My internet is still being terrible. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Now should I make my perception here? Uh, yes. Alright. 25. Almost 25. Great. Okay, cool. You look into the room. This room Should is... I also roll perception? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, anyone that wants to, you know, roll perception. Alright, I see nothing. Torn sees the most, strangely <laughs> enough. Alright. Uh, Rambe, you find... You have a bit of a hard time looking into the room. Um, whereas... Liam and Torund. You look into this room, and you note that it's 30 foot square, rising to a 20 foot tall flat ceiling. Gargoyle carving smile, revealing their teeth from a high on the walls. Well lit by the braziers that burn fiercely in the center of the room. From the alcoves in the center of the east and west walls, two iron statues stand saluting with their weapons bared. Each statue has four arms, one with a shield, one with a sword, and the remaining two with their palms towards the ceiling over their heads. Their eyes seem to watch you as you walk about the room. High overhead, an hourglass with writing on it on its base hangs suspended above the brazier. And all of its sand is in the upper portion, somehow refusing to run down into the bottom. In the center of the room, next to the brazier is a golden chest. A single Go oh, yeah. A single door stands in the south wall, while three doors line the north wall. So, what do you do, kids? Take a step in my clone deck, boy. Also, by the way, those uh, those those uh, those things, those uh, little armors, they might might come up, might uh, might be alive. Who knows? Hmm. All right. Cool. And yeah, so you guys are in the room, and now that you're in there, would you like to give me another perception to actually investigate a bit more? Yep. Oh, that's not good. Nearly a crit. 
Teddy coming in with the clutch. Hmm. Jesus. Like every Tell single time I see Liam roll. How every many single time I ones? see Liam like roll like a single this is only digit. Like the fifth one. Liam, this, this is the session. second that one in a row for you. He can only like literally the only time he can roll single digits is if he rolls a nat one. Yeah. Strange. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, the one that would actually notice this is going to be Tenny. Well, you would notice what's on the base of the hourglass. Everyone else, what you would note. I'm looking for the penguin. The penguin mm -hmm. is nowhere to be found. Sorry, I'm the only one here who can, who can roll a negative. I, I guess so. Okay, so, here's what you note. Uh, in the room, um, specifically in the hands of the, uh, the iron golems, there appear to be, uh, well, stones. We see, yeah, each of the iron golems has four arms. One hand is holding onto, uh, yeah, two hands are holding onto a weapon, but the other two hands are holding onto two gems. Uh, in the, on the west side, which is the left, in the right hand, it's holding a red stone. In the left hand, it's holding a blue stone. On the yeah, in the uh, eastern wall, with with that angle, which is the one on the right. In its right uh -huh. hand, it's holding a black stone, and in its left hand, it's holding an opal stone. Do the statues or stones look magic? I'm getting to that because Tenny, something you note is what's written on the be uh, base of the hourglass. In the palm of my hand is the time left to thee. When it's consumed, will the flame set you free. One moment, please. I need to set a timer. Hmm. Oh. For it, it's at that moment that all doors in the room suddenly <laughs> slam shut. Mm. And furthermore, the sand in the hourglass starts to descend. You guys have 40 seconds, mm. what are you doing? Mm. Uh, what are the... 40 seconds like IRL. What was the poem? Um, okay. Poem is... In the palm of my hand is the time left to thee. When it's consumed, will flame set you free. And in the center mm. of the room, there appears to be a brazier. Mm. So I'm gonna get some water, put it on there. Alright. Ten seconds. Uh fuck. It says flames set you free, right? Yep. yep. Can I light a torch and drop it into the brazier? You You light a torch and set it into the brazier. Nothing happens. Fuck. As time at this point has run out. Can I tear off the door? Oh, never mind. It's at this point you note that the iron golems start to move a little bit. Ugh, told you guys. Oh. What does the party want to do? Uh. I want to light. Uh, one of the iron golems on fire. You cast a spell at the iron golem, and nothing happens. No, I'm going to take the torch from the... From the... Uh, basin right here. I thought right here. there was... It's not pinging. Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah. No, that's... Okay, that's the, a light source. Okay. That's, that, that's not there. That's just to indicate that there's a fire in the room. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. In that case. Okay. Case, bef um. Before anything bad happens, I will allow each pe each of the people that has not done anything a single a single action, which is to say, you can do a thing. Now each of the iron golems uh, they're like holding my uh, a yes. stone. Yes, they are holding. Each of them are holding two stones. The one in on the left is holding a a red and a blue stone. And the one on the right's holding a black and an opal stone. 
Oh, okay. Mm. Is this like a riddle puzzle? What yes, this is yeah, a puzzle. Did, yeah, mm. uh, does anybody remember the, uh, what the, whatchamacallit, the lady said? The tarot Wood. card lady? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. The shaman. The shaman, yeah. Oh, the crazy bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there was like a wizard or something, or. Mm hmm. Or then we put something off. I'm surprised Brick isn't curled at my head at this point. Hmm. 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 No. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't understand a single thing. Is there like a roll I can make? Uh, that would be a intelligence. Or a wisdom. Oh, I'm not good at that. One or the other. I'll, I'll allow you guys the option. I'm not good at either of those, but I'm better at wisdom. Nope. Nope. Pretty colors. Yeah. Uh, like, so, make an intelligence check, you said? Int or wisdom. or wisdom. Yeah. One or the other, but you only get one. Alright, I have a negative one in my wisdom, so I'm gonna roll intelligence. 22. Okay, mm. Tenny, you actually understand what's going on. I'm trying to my character sheet. Not 20, yeah. Now, yeah, well, Liam, I'll still, I'll still allow you to roll is because, you know... I can't pull up my character sheet. Would you like me to roll for you? Go ahead. Okay, into wisdom. It's a, it's a dumb question, I know, but I gotta ask. Intelligence. A 15. Okay, cool. So, Liam, as well as Tenny, you get what's going on here. So, effectively, you get the sense that what this is asking you to do is that in the palm of my hand is the time left to the When it's consumed, will the flame set you three? You gotta throw one of the things in one of their hands in the fire. Uh, I grab the red gem and throw it into the flames, I guess. Cool, you do that, and the time resets. The doors spring open. Almost ready. That's what I, that's what I thought, but I didn't, wasn't sure. And as the gem burns, it will magically reappear in the golem's, um, whatchamacallit. It will magically appear in and the golem's right hand, as I need to reset the timer. Hmm. Right, so, uh, should we just... And the doors are open now at this point, right? Yeah. Also, as a reminder, there is in fact a golden chest in the room. A golden chest? Yep. Where is the chest? Uh, it's like, right here. Actually, is it? Uh, yeah. Teddy's gonna, Teddy's gonna grab the chest and carry it with them to the next room. Cool. As you grab the chest, it appears locked. You think Another that's one a problem? Ship could unlock it. Or we could just break it. Which yeah, it's usually damage break. whatever's inside. Do you want to break it? I mean, not while, not while we're in this room, goddamn. Yeah, that's, no. that's entirely fair. As you notice that, um, yeah, like the, the sand of the hourglass is ticking away, and it's almost, um, you know... You know what? Fuck this. Pick a room at random. I throw, the, I throw the red gem into the fire again. Cool. I'm resetting the timer. <laughs> Uh, can I just can I just continuously grab the red gems off this game? Technically speaking, yeah. Yeah, you could just yeah. do that. Can I just get like an armful of them? Uh, there's only the one. It only it only reappears once you've burned it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so where's the party heading? Are you heading through this door, this door, or this door? Where does the party wanna go? No, I don't rightly know, so, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, like, grab another red gem, toss it in the fire. Uh, the red gem's over like, here. No, uh, I'm just gonna toss another red gem, toss it in the fire. Okay, cool. Oh, really, I'm the, over the there. The timer resets. As you see, yeah. all the glass vanish from the bottom of the hourglass into the top. Alright, well, I'll be up here then. I follow <laughs> Liam as well. Yep, cool. Alright, the party's just gonna be over there. My fucking mouse would let me. I'm just gonna move you over there. Alright. Yep, as the room eventually snaps shut, 
and you hear movement from the other side. So the door was shut? Yeah, the door the door shut. So I'll just uh So does it sound like anything or is it just movement? It sounds like, like no there are now? it sounds like the iron golem's actually moving. As well as there's a little hmm. hiss of some kind of gas. Hmm. hmm. Hope there was nothing in any of those other rooms. I'm able to on. Yes. Uh, also, uh, as you enter there, this is a dark spiral staircase of rough hewn stone that appears as though it can only go up. Out of character, you guys are effectively at the bottommost level of Ravenloft at this point. Well, it doesn't go any lower. That was a. <coughs> well, that was a bust. <coughs> you guys want to go to the top of the tower yeah. instead? <coughs> So, is I do this, believe... Is I, this just a dead end down here? Nope. With stairs? There's... Okay. There's a set of stairs that... Eh, I can't show you. But effectively, there were three doors that led up. One of them was the one you took down. There's this one which goes up, and then you noted that there was... The middle one was a set of stairs that also goes up, but not as far as the one that you took. There's also a, uh, a doorway that goes down. Okay. But yes. I'm assuming it's too late to change that decision, so... Yeah, it's, it's a bit late at this point. Mm. But anyway, I mean, you can just wait for whatever's going on in the room that you guys were just in to, you know, reset and just, like, are off to a... Diff through a different door. I mean, but anyway, how you guys... do you want to see what's in there? You guys have a chest if you want to yeah. open it. Um, does anyone know how to pick a lock? I know how to bust a lock off. I mean... Tenny, you're a slayer. Don't you have this set of device? Uh, no. Okay, well, it seems I as though... I do. Oh! I think. Um, in that case, yeah, Liam. Uh, let's see if I can get my character sheet up. Come on. It's not letting me get my character sheet up. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, so, let's see, you actually have a rank in the disabled device. Would you like to disable the device? Yes. Cool. That's more than enough. Liam, hmm. you, using some of your spare parts from spare parts that remain from spare parts, you fashion yourself a, a little pick, and you just get in there, you um, undo the lock, and it opens up a nice... And you open up the chest, and you guys find a f um, it's actually filled with a couple things. So, would you like the uh, how, what order would you like this in? Would you like it in the really good to really bad, or would you just like the really bad? Huh. Mm. Wait, just the way, just the really bad, or like, is it scaling? Would you like really me to, bad to okay? Go would you let go good to bad or bad to bad to good? Bad to good. Okay, cool. You Bad guys find good. you guys find a deck of cards. I oh. take those. Cool. I stop him from taking those. I feel like that's something. I add them to my card collection. Okay, cool. You Fuck. pick up. You, yeah, you pick up the de deck of cards. You also find um, a couple of scrolls, as well as two potions. Oh. Hmm. Can I roll Arcana on all the stuff? Uh, do you have Knowledge Arcana? I do. Did you put I ranks still have all it? my knowledge. I still have all my knowledges. Alright, cool. Roll Knowledge Arcana. So this would be for the scrolls. Um, mind you. Fuck. Ah, uh, you're not... You're not certain about the scrolls, but the potion... The potion's pretty easy to identify. That one is just... It's a potion of Cure Serious Wounds. And there are two of them. Uh and that's the worst? Oh, nice! No, that's the best All one. Right. That's a 3d8. Oh, that's, that's 3d8 plus 5. I'll hit no, 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 no. You said, like, from worst to best, and it's still going? Yeah, no, no, this, is, is, it... this is the best. Oh. Yeah. Oh, damn. Knowledge Arcana? Uh, or Spellcraft. Um... Oh, Spellcraft. Oh, wait, I have Spellcraft. Can yeah. I have spellcraft? Yes. I use my spellcraft mod instead. Okay, so I have a plus thirteen to that. Okay, what are you using the spellcraft on? 
to identify the spell scroll. The scroll. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll let you identify all the scrolls. Uh, by the way, that roll was actually a twenty and not a. If I could roll spellcraft, I just heard knowledge arcana. Uh, okay, knowledge arcana will be a separate roll at this point. Yeah, I was I was asking if I could use my no. spellcraft modifier instead of knowledge arcana. Uh, no, I'm saying if you higher. want to, I'd say roll just roll spellcraft at this point. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a separate roll. 31. 31. Okay, cool. So here are the scrolls. You have a scroll of protection from evil. Okay. Uh, and this one is divine cast. And then you also have a single scroll of dispel magic, which is arcane cast. And a single scroll of flame strike, which is divine cast. So two of them go to Adriana and one of them goes to Liam. Yep. And Torn, you, you picked up that deck of cards before anyone could, you know, see what it is. Uh, could, I, mean, could I, I haven't I... put them away yet, I'm still oh. holding them. Torn, could, could I look at those cards for a minute? Just like, just well, like... We're sure. We're sure. I'm gonna I spell them. Deck. Cool. So what you note is that this is, appears to be a full deck of 52 cards. Can I spellcraft it? You may certainly try. Actually the deck of cards I mean, it looks like a deck of cards. There's some magical property about it, um, but you're not 100% certain. Uh, okay, spellcraft. <laughs> One moment, please. I just need to see if that beats the DC. Why do I have a higher spellcraft than Liam? This makes That's no sense. Fine. Actually, how many rings do you have on This that? is an oddity. I have eight. Okay, yeah, no, that, 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 that checks out. Okay, let's see. Unfortunately... I only have three. Unfortunately, that doesn't really tell you what this thing is. It's like, oh, that's, uh, a, that's a deck of cards. It's, there's something uh, magical about it. I don't really know if we should, uh... So then I should touch put them these. Away. I think we should, uh, put these in a box for now. Why? I've got a box. They're unknown magic cards. That's why. I look at I look I look at my uh, previous deck of cards that was acquired very very long ago in the Goblin thing. Uh -huh. You know when that was when that was our biggest troubles. Yeah. This one appears right. to be in pristine condition. Hmm. I still have the mm. Goblin Slayer badge. That's hilarious to me. Yes, you Jesus do. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, what you doing, kids? Uh, uh, can I wrap the cards in the cape? What, what just, cape? What like, cape? Uh, one I stole from Strahd. Oh yeah, sure, if you wanna. If Torn lets you. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, I want to keep Do you mind if I hold on to these for like, uh, until we figure out what the fuck they actually are? I want to keep these. And uh, yes, yes, we're gonna keep them safe. We're going to keep them, them this... but we will figure out what they are first, so that you don't actually didn't we're... get your soul ripped out or something by some magical bullshit. Now, why would you say that? That just seems ill-founded. Yeah, it seems ridiculous. No, Maybe it's happens. a deck of happiness. Maybe it's a deck of happy-peepiness. Oh, that's oh, also a possibility. It... I hadn't thought of that one. It could very well be, but, uh... You know, magic is fucking dangerous, and when I don't know what it is, I don't like it. Uh, that's pretty racist of you. I don't understand how, but uh, whatever I makes you right at night. here. What if you don't understand the race? What about none? Hmm? 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 Then they're just a race. It's it really doesn't do anything. Like. Uh, Again, why are you I'm trying right to turn here. this into a race thing? Oh no, why are you trying to turn this into a card thing? I want to keep these. I don't trust the cards. And I don't trust you to not the open the cards. cards. The cards use some, will tell. Or do something <laughs> stupid. Ramvi, well, you can also weigh in on this. <laughs> well, you I mean... A card game. <laughs> I mean, a deck of cards with a potion and a bunch of scrolls. I mean, isn't that kind of suspicious? 
The oh, unknown sure. magic cards. Oh, whatever. He's like, hands. Uh, oh, yeah, they're he's definitely hands magic. magic. They... Don't worry, Torn. Once we figure them out, I'll... Give them to you unless they're explicitly dangerous. Mm, if they're dangerous, can I throw them against the enemy? Um... You can sure. throw one of these nest potions against the enemy and maybe you'll have last better time you luck. Did that, last time you did that, it <laughs> If you can you convince them to draw a card if they're dangerous, then sure. Alright. So, uh, we heading up or...? Yeah. Tony's gonna wrap it, wrap it tightly in the cape and then just shove it into a side pouch on her bag so it doesn't come apart. And all that. Hmm. Okay, cool. So, mysterious deck of cards wrapped in one of Strahd's cloaks. Yeah? I'll put my deck of cards away. I, I still have those goblin cards, right? Yes, you do. Oh, nice. It's just, just you know, playing with those. I'm, I'm just waiting for when, yeah, you know, the moment happens. So, who gets the, the potions? Ah, that's up for you guys. Uh, I'll give one to Ramveg and one to uh, Torrent, I guess. Oh, thank you. I have a bunch more potions that I haven't used yet. Cool. So for people getting potions, add a potion of cure serious wounds to your equipment. Okay. And because uh, it's on the spell list. Um, I'm just going to feed this scroll to the puppet. Oh, uh, which one? Um, the um, ma the magic one, spell? the arcane one. I'm pretty oh, you sure. mean dispel magic? Yeah, dispel ma okay, magic. Okay, yeah, sure. You you just give it to the puppet, and the eyes unsown look up at you and. The hand moves on its own, which it hasn't done before. Mm. It seems to just wrap itself around the scroll, and as its mouth unwraps, it shoves the scroll into itself. And it just vanishes into an inky black void from within. You I now have to spell magic. Where's your thing? Yeah, it's uh... just me. No. Oh, so how much does the uh, Cure Serious Wounds heal? Uh, 3d8 plus 5. Not bad. Oh, that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, upstairs. So you guys Ooh. going up the stairwell? Yeah. yeah. All All right. Other way to go. Up. Again, there's other rooms, but anyway. Whoa. Like I said, no stairs. other way to go. Is I'm going to say to the papa, don't worry, we'll get you better soon. Cool, so up the stairwell you go, kids! I'm just gonna... <laughs> Let's see, where did you end up? Okay, so that is going to be, and that goes to... Wait, what? It's just a box. K83. To map 11. Yeah, K83, okay. Where's K83? Oh, yeah. And, and all that's going on, uh, is... Oh, Adriana you got... Adriana here? Uh, from the looks of it, not at the moment. Uh, well, the player isn't. Alright, you guys end up going up the stairs. You end up here. Oh. Oh, man. Well, to be more precise, you end up like, uh, you end up like over here. Yep. And that's where we emerge from? Uh, yep. Uh, give me a sec. I'll just get the description. This 40-foot-long corridor connects two spiral stairways. The stairs on the north end of the wall leads down further under Castle Ravenloft. 
The stairwell on the south end of the western wall leads up about out of sight. All the stones in the walls and stairways are rough hewn. And yet, yeah, there's the, the stairwell appears as though it continues to go up. Hmm. So, what you do? Uh, investigating for anything that could, you know, possibly try to, you know, pop out of the wall or something. That is entirely fair. I noticed nothing. Yep. As far as you're concerned, yeah, it's fine. Ten. <laughs> I got one higher somehow. Cool. Yeah, no, it appears fine. Twenty-seven. Now twenty-two. Why am I over here? Why did we do Why this? Why am I in the back? Was it just to suffer? Well, we're here. Just to fight vampires. It, everything and appears fine. It's just it's a, it's a regular corridor that just goes up. Mm. What the fuck are you talking about? We just heard voices. I'll just take a I'll take a nice little stroll over here. Oh, I Dude, see. Why are you so in- So that goes through to there. Dude, why are you so intent on walking in front of me? Oh, cool. You guys continue to march forward. Up and up and up you go. Where you stop? Who really knows? Hopefully not just Trot's lair. No, no. I hope it is. Control Z, no. Ah, fuck. Ah! Give me, ah! give me a sec. I just need, I need, I need to correct this. Why, why, why were we duplicated? Why are we duplicated? Because I made oh, a mistake. No. Now just hang on a second. Hey Torn, hi Torn, how you doing, Torn? I'm doing well, Torn. Thank you. For Panic ensues. We're not even meant to be up to the bit where the mirrors come to life. <laughs> how you doing, Torn? Uh, I'm doing Panic well. Panic ensues. Tony sees herself, freaks the fuck out. Just give me Don't a second. Himself, just, he shakes his hand. I'm just making sure the dynamic lighting's turned on for all the other maps. Okay, cool. One of them accidentally shakes the, the magma hand. Oh, 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 oh dear. Okay, is it this map? God, remember that trap nope, that was like extremely fucking one. convoluted for no reason whatsoever? Which one? That one with like the uh, the walls and the poison and like the elevator. Oh yeah, that one. That was just. Mm. Yeah, that one was literally just built to have a nice little stroll through. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck! Oh, you guys are not there. Okay, cool. Oh, we got back. <laughs> we made it back, guys. You guys end up, and I'm just gonna. You guys end up here. Going up oh. the spiral staircase. <sighs> yeah, man. The Russian living quarters. And I will get the description. Let's see, this is K37. Oh, good, we get to go up. <laughs> Okay, 37. Here we go. A blazing half fire fills the room with rolling waves of red and amber light. The walls are lined with ancient books and tomes, their leather covered, well oiled, and preserved through the careful use. All is in order here. The stone floor is hidden beneath a luxurious carpet of a deep patterned weave. A large, low table sits in the center of the room, waxed and polished to a mirror finish. Even the poker next to the fire, the blazing fireplace, is polished. Large, overstuffed divans and couches stand in order about the room. Two luxurious chairs face the hearth. A huge painting hangs over the mantelpiece in a heavy, gilded frame. 
The roaring light of the fire illuminates the carefully rendered painting. And here is the odd thing. The painting is in exact likeness to Irina Kolyana. Though the painting is obviously centuries old, the likeness is unmistakable. Creep. Uh, weirdo. Sorry. Imagine okay. being such a creep that you have a painting of somebody who you've been going after for for thousands of years. Uh, anyone they that don't even like. Yeah, anyone that wants to, you can give for me a, um, let's say, an appraise or a knowledge history check to try and work things out about that painting. I have neither of those. <laughs> I see. I have, I have both, but they're the same rank, Yeah. So. Okay, cool. Oh, Liam and Ravi. Both. Okay, both of you got high enough that you actually figure out. This isn't recent. This painting has been made a long time ago. A long time ago, I mean, it even existed, Jesus. Yeah. Right, Liam, you would value this at about a good 5,000 gold pieces. Mm. Whereas, Ranveig, you work out that this thing is at least 500 years old. If not older. Jeez. Well, it's probably one of the iterations. Yeah, I mean, that, that's well. fair. I'm gonna go look around, if you don't mind. It's in this hallway. Uh, okay, right, before you do that, everyone give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, that's another natural one. That is unfortunate. Really? That is funny. I'm sorry, yeah, fact, Torrent. It, it's a room. It's a room. It's got a pretty oh, picture. Yes. We're a nice Python. Uh, oh, wait, Ravik, is that your 20? Jesus. Alright. Yeah, 27. Yeah, Ravik, you're the only one that finds this. You note that, uh, just like, move your token, like, over here. Uh, looking around the room. Jesus. At the back of the fireplace, there appears to be a bit of a... Let's see. Yeah, a little bit of an indent right here. It looks as though it could be opened. I throw a sofa at it. Ah, uh, strength check. I'm um, vague move. I mean, they just... I thought they were the only one who saw that, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm but... assuming that they told us. Okay, right. Yeah, I told everybody, hey, there's something over here. Yeah, it oh, is, boy. though. There's a... It looks like it could yeah. be opened. Yeah. Hey, can I can I can I use my arm, the one that you call you for all the time, see if it burns. Okay, we'll do that. Then you will do the surface. So yeah, Torn, do you just want to stick your hand to the fire? Yeah, the the flamey one. Cool. You take one point of fire damage. With the with the burning arm. I know, which why you only take one point because I rolled a six and d six. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so it's like, ah, that burnt a little bit, as it basically, your hand goes into flame and almost seems to absorb it a little bit. Hmm, maybe I'll be stronger. And then as you stick your hand in a little further, the flame laps at the bit that isn't, you know, demonic and draconic, and it burns you a bit. Ow, ow, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, never mind, beat the fuck up. Alright, Tenny, you pick up a sofa, and... Yeet. I will... If, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's not hard. And doing that reveals... In fact... Yo, mama! A secret room. Mm. Convenient. Oh. We gotta put out the fire first, right? I mean... I mean, it would kinda help. I just, uh... Uh... Yeah, you said, you said that my arm was let a... let it burn away the sofa first, aren't we? 
That's up to you. I have a question. Answer. Can I see how my hand interacts with fire? Just like the hand itself, not like, you know, yeah. the bits above it. You know, I'd like to see that. The magma glows a little more intently as you see the fires start to dim. As the arm glows a little a little more. Hmm. And for a moment, hmm. you lose feeling in it. Ugh. Uh, yeah. So, um... Mm -hmm. Is it only for a moment, or...? Only for a moment. Oh. And you said that the fire was dimming? Yeah, the fire dimmed a bit. Huh. Can I keep going? Do you just want to keep your your thing in there? Uh... I guess. Torrent, is that really it's... a good idea? I mean, look, it's dimming the fire. You guys see a hidden room at the back of there. Would you like to go do thing? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, can we put out the fire first? Ah, uh, yeah, who has, like, a I mean, water that's... spell. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I mean, yeah, that's... no, Torn, Torn. Yeah, you, you just keep your hand on the fire. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to absorb it, man. Cool. Alright. Like a sponge. About a minute of doing so, you only take an additional one point of damage. Oh, we... As the fire eventually fades to not but ash. Mm. And then I'll just, uh, you know. There. That's not ominous at all. There you go, easy as, passage. As the hand itself is just glowing a lot brighter than it used to. Mm. The magma blows more intently and the, well... The loose bits of shale and, well, volcanic rock dim a little bit darker. There you go. So, yeah, what you doing? You going in there? All right, cool. Yep. You, all right, so people who are going into the room, and I'll have... Yep. Well, to be more... Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, there we go. So, Liam, are you sticking out here, or...? Yeah, are... I'm going in the room. Like this one over here? There's not. There's, 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 I'll there's not think I can fit in the room if I go in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's you just... not that much space. Yep. Um, before I say what's in there, actually, well... Uh, both both Ravig and Tenny give me perception? Two of the highest perception. Yep. You know how it is. Yeah, I'm going over here. Only five. Cool. Okay, Liam, we'll we'll get to what goes on there. But first things first. So, uh, only Tenny is gonna find the secret passage, which is about there's a hidden door there. But this smoky room lies behind the fireplace, glinting through the smoke. Gold, silver, and copper coins lie scattered around a closed chest. The fittings on the chest tell of great workmanship. Attuned to the east wall are two, tor uh, two torch sconces. The southernmost sconce holds a torch with an intricate metal base. The other is empty. A skeleton of a man lies against the wall in broken plate armor. His right hand is on his throat, while his left hand holds the matching torch from the empty sconce. Does the, tra does, does the chest look trapped? Yes. I'm gonna uh, ask Ron Vague to back away from the chest. Also, again, uh, oh, hidden oh. hidden passage here. Y you see the indent yeah. for the hidden door. Um, you minute. could ask uh, that I come over and help. You could. We could. Uh. I do kind of want to just kick open this chest. Alright. Alright, so yeah, kicking open the chest. Cool. Uh, give me a... Let's go... Strength on this one. Eleven. Okay, Another cool. great roll. You kick... You kick open... Well, you kick the chest. It, it buckles a bit, but it doesn't appear to open. Hmm. 
kick it again. Cool, strength. It buckles a bit harder this time, but still hasn't opened. Damn, this is a tough chest. The opener. Uh, look at Liam. Pretty sure this chest oh. is trapped, anyways. Or oh, Liam. Ah, yes. Hey, there's a uh, prep chest in there. She's having trouble holding it. Or open it, so, uh... Yep, cool. Disable the device. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, easy. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yep, you Didn't open the, the chest. Kind of and as you open it, a noxious gas suddenly sprays out. I need the three of you to make for me fortitude saves. Fuck. I try to, like, move Liam out of the room before he has to... Nope. Before he actually inhales. Alright. 27. Jeez, that's also not 20, so you're fine. Can I... 29. Can I, as a reaction, do nope. a ability? Nope. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Liam, oh. you are immediately not the fuck out. Oh, at least he's not dying. You are now asleep. Kenny uh, grabs him and just hands him to Fataro. No? Yep, that, that's fair. Just powering through the noxious fumes. Yep. She's just gonna look in the chest. Cool. In the chest, there appears to be nothing. Damn. However, scattered mm. around the ground is about 50 gold pieces, 100 silver pieces, and about 2,000 copper pieces. That's 20 gold and copper. Yeah. It's gonna need to have like 50 uh, of those silver pieces. Cool. Divvy it up how you see. Um, probably evenly, I guess, right? So that'd be, um, that was 50 GP, so that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, so can I just wake up, Liam? Or is it just like. Ah, uh, if you. Okay. Is it there? Just. Okay, yeah, just, you know, shake him awake. Yeah. Cool. Or. Yeah, you just. You just so, uh, shake 10, Liam a bit. 20. And Liam, give what? me a D100 roll. Mm. This is not for you waking up, this is something completely different. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> uh -oh. Toron, you see that his doll actually starts to animate and is trying to crawl away from him. Uh, I just like to pick that up. Cool. Well, you know, you're not supposed to be doing that. It bites you. Which doesn't oh. do anything, because it's, it's dull. You good? Just poke it. Yep, yeah, you, you poke it. It's eyes on so, and it just looks at you pleadingly. Whoa. And the eyes appear very unnatural. <clears throat> Unnatural, like as they, what? Oh, okay, it, they appear like like they appear as though they're the eyes of a living being, but they have basically been taken out of a body and put inside of a doll. Uh, can I try and insight this thing? <laughs> like uh, okay. sense motive. Or sense motive. You know, basically the same thing, but you know, whatever. Yep. Uh, you're pretty sure that this thing is in fact alive. What do I mean, you, know. you have no idea what it wants from you, only that it's alive. And it is at this point that, um, Liam, you wake up and you see Torrin has your uh, doll in his hands. Give her back. Oh, so which hand are you holding it with? 
the one that isn't gonna burn it up. Okay, immediately. good. And possibly eat its soul, but like, I, I don't know. But one is not holding it in the clearly harmful hand. Yep, cool. So, yeah, but what do you do? As. as uh, yo, Liam, this thing's acting pretty weird. Uh, gonna... She's acting just fine. Uh, no, not really. Like this entire time. Since we it got here, it's been to wildly. escape. Yeah, and also, you know, kind of I crawled off you. And also, it's kind of alive, more uh, than it used to be. Uh, of course, she's alive. Well, I mean, I mean, I know that, but like, you know, usually they don't move unless you tell them to. So, I mean, so what's the, the, the doll's reaction? Like, like, it, like, is it doing anything? Like, it's just gone limp. Just limp as Life soon as he wakes lifeless. up, or yeah, lifeless. Huh. Uh. I'm, I'm cradling it. Cool. Still. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not going to do anything yet because you haven't really done anything to it. But yeah, but yeah, just cradle it. Um, I don't know if uh, seems pretty. Uh, but at least I would call into business just a little bit depressing, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Think it's hungry. By the way, while all of that's happening, Teddy is going to be opening the door. Cool. Um, the secret door. You notice the in indent, but you're not sure about the mechanism to open it. Punch it. Okay, strength check. I punch it. Alright. So you punch stuff, and after a bit of doom, 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 you eventually punch the wall down. Which isn't hard because of the indent. Revealing at what this point. Now let's just do that. Yeah, there we go. Revealing another room. Shock of all horrors. <gasps> Thank you. Secret rooms and more fucking secret rooms. Secret <gasps> rooms inside of secret rooms. Yep. Watch for this. Looks more like a secret tunnel. So I mean. So yeah, peering into the room, and um, the mountains. it appears to be that this <laughs> ancient hall is choked with spider webs. Their dusty forms well, hide uh, the very walls and ceiling. <laughs> the webs are broken by a single clear path down the center. Hmm. Well, uh, I line a torch. Cool. The tower going to be going and down. Hold in my uh, other hand. Hi. Give me a sec, I'm just going to go onto your token and I am just going to give you a light source. Alright, there you go. There you. So, what's the party doing? I'm just following them. Cool. Ravik, you step to the side and immediately get a little tangle in the cobwebs. Oh, don't worry, got it. Punch his cobweb with flaming hot arm. Yep, cool. My favorite Cheetos flavor. Mm, mm, hmm. Well, please. Ah, I see. <laughs> hey, could someone roll me a D10 real quick? D10? I got you. Okay. Uh, one. Yikes. Okay. What'd you say? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I asked that. Um, oh. However, Liam technically rolled first, so here's a question. Do you want to go with the two or the one? 
too. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay then. I'd rather go with the. Are you one. sure? Yeah. Okay. Look, don't need to go with them. Tell you what, we'll go with the one. Okay then. We'll go with the one. Uh, someone roll me. Uh, actually, uh, let's say Ramvig, roll me a d8. Is that how many hit points I lose? Nope. Is that how many that permanent how many hit points I lose? He loses. Nope. Give me a second, I need to set something up. Is that how many brain cells here are replaced by spiders? Nope, it's uh, how many um, how many swarms are gonna attack you guys. Oh. Huh. Okay. Swarms of bats, I assume. Yep. And two three. I grab one and bite its head off. It's a it's a bat swarm. I grab one and bite its head off. It, it's not a one thing, Tauron, it's like there are several. I know I grab one. And I might have cut off. Okay, that that that's great. So before I ask you to roll for a, actually, hang on a sec. I need a check. It's a bat swarm. It's not going to be that hard. Oh, that's actually that might actually be a bit hard. That's what she said. They're bats. Are they vampire bats? Nope, they're just regular bats. Regular bats. They also have a plus 20 to hit, and, uh, you know, they deal in the... They, oh, they, do they don't roll a hit, damage. they just auto-hit because it's a swarm. I know, mm -hmm. there's four of them. Luckily, I got to cleave! Oh, can I I'm gonna be blunt. I have, like... There isn't really much point in having this battle. There isn't? No, because... Okay, first things first. <clears throat> Oh. oh, those are big bats. Uh, to, be, like... to be clear, these are representative of bat swarms. Oh, okay. It's just four lots of bats. Here's the problem. These things don't have enough hit points to survive a single attack from any of you. Nor do and I assume that we just automatically hit any of them, right? They have an AC of, like, 16, so it's, it's possible to, you know... Yeah, it's possible to miss it, like, yeah. if you roll, roll absolutely dodge. You know what, uh, you know what, it... I'm just gonna do what we did in the horde, right? If you don't yeah. mind. Uh, yeah. So, and I, I'll, I'll actually no, I gotta, <laughs> you know, what, whatever, whatever. Actually, uh, they could survive. Uh, hit for me. Yes, that's oh, true. Wow. Thing is, wow, the, the one's up. first attack was a nat one. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's with hand. his arm, so we, well, technically, we can break the arm. And then one explodes. Roll me a hundred. Okay. I got you, don't worry. Four right, 2d12. 2d12. Or was it 1d12 or 2d12? 2d12 for the crit fail chart. Mm -hmm. 10. Not the face, I have I a career. Your attack bounces off your targets and strikes you in the face. You hit yourself. Oh. Ow. For 16 I bludgeoning. Ow, oh, actually that, that is pretty bad. Ow. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. We're just gonna move you here. Anyways, um, sword. Cool, yeah. Alright, both those hits. That's like, that's a dead swarm. Almost moved you there. Ranveig, would you like to swing at this thing? Sure. Cool, we'll just move you like right here. Can I swing in another one? <laughs> cool, so, uh, let's see. That one is gonna die. Can I swing into another one? Uh, it's Liam's turn. And then Adrian. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. Hmm. 
I was very dissatisfied with that first one. <laughs> and also a 16 if still hits right. That's gonna miss. Also, I assume a 16 still hits, right? <laughs> yeah, a, six, yeah. a 16 hits. Uh. <laughs> There's anything other than that critical failure. Okay, Adriana is going to just ping some shots at these things. Do 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 do. Then yeah, we'll do rapid shot on this, and we'll put deadly aim for good measure. Now, can I have grudge fighter uh, like just up against myself now? Since I hit myself. Technically, yes. Okay. Okay, so first shot's gonna hit, and the rapid shot will hit this thing. Bats are dead. Yeah. That was, um. So, like they're gonna survive. Fight, I guess. It's a bats. It's, it's a bat swarm. What's it going to do? I buy. <laughs> I just grab one and bite its head off again, like a pickle. <laughs> yeah, these things only do a D six. I did more damage. I did like, I did like what? Torn did more damage to himself. Yeah. But yeah, it's like okay, four of them. They do a D six e each. All of you have like health like above fifty. Maybe, well, not all of you at present, but you know, you basically have health high enough that this isn't going to phase you. Torn just like, going to be annoying. A, a tear strolls down his eye as he realizes this is going to be fucking easy. I mean, I could, we could always go to option two, which might actually kill all you guys. No, no, we're good with option one. Okay, Mongo. okay. If you say so. Moving down the hallway. And you may want to go single file, uh, mostly because cobwebs. And yeah, also, any of you got any healing? And also, I think I've got my spot. Wow, okay. So yeah, you, you approach the door at the end of the hallway. I'm gonna throw Tor in a potion of cure light wounds. Alright, cool. CL3. Is this a NIST potion or is this uh, a regular? Regular. I'm not, I'm not taking it if it's a NIST potion. Cool, fine. Go for it. Is it one of mine? Uh, it's a CL3, so I yeah, for don't remember. A, a cure light or cure mod? Cure light. Uh, in that case, that would be one of Williams, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Torn. Uh, roll me a D8 plus three. Move. <clears throat> oh, 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 that's a meaty heal. Oh, oh, that's nice. Uh, Torn, that you you yeah. drink down the potion and it tastes like healing as you feel some of your wounds suddenly start to knit close a little. Hmm. These are. Oh, that actually tastes real, real good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, cherry flavor abysmal. You did, wait, Liam, did you actually make it cherry flavored? Yes. Where did you get the cherries? <laughs> Artificially flavored. Easy. <laughs> How would you even know about that? Cherries don't grow in Harrison. I think. Maybe. I'm not certain. Actually, they do. Do they? <laughs> yes. I don't remember reading that in, like, you know, Rain of Winter. No, they popped up in one of the stories. Suddenly a Gatorade ad just popped ah. up next to his head. But the By the way, I'm gonna... That after this room, I'm gonna have to go to bed. Right, fair enough. Right. Is the oranges? You may want to wait for the, uh, you may want one more room on that one, Tenny. Alright, I can no. stay up till 2. No, no, I mean, basically I'm saying that, uh, oh, oh, okay, well, 2, in that case, yeah, okay. Don't worry, it won't take that long. 
Alright, so, yeah, you guys approach that room. Let's see, that's K40. So, yes, you enter yeah, this room. oranges are hard to find. That, yeah, fair enough. Dusty cobwebs fill the area. Their musty smell assaults your senses and obscuring sight. Deep pools of darkness lie all about you as you attempt in vain to penetrate the spidery veil. A single path leads to the center of the room, where a rope dangles from high above. Hmm. Mm. I'm going to take out a I'm actually going to use the bottle that um, was left over from the cure lights uh -huh. and look for a spider. There don't appear to be any spiders, uh, unless of course you want to roll me that perception to see stuff. Sure. There are. He's gonna go ahead and uh, just float up to the top of the rope, I guess. Uh, you unfurl your wings and they immediately get caught in cobwebs. Fuck. Yeah. There, there's a lot of cobwebs. But, Liam, you try to peer around for spiders. You see several. All of them are dead. I have a question. Answer. Will I be able to burn these away? Yeah, you just... Cut them down. Yeah, you, you just, you know, you just stick out your hand and just... The webs catch fire just by being in contact with your hand. Yeah, I'm going to... And with the scythe, you can just slice and dice. I'm gonna swing the torch I have in my offhand. Hey, right, cool. Yep, Liam, you just scoop up the thing. And what, what's this about the offhand? Uh, I'm gonna swing the torch I had there. Yeah, around, cool. just clear up some of these webs. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys do that. Um, also, Liam, with that perception check, you note that there appears to be an actual door right there. Just... Obscured by the fact that there's cobwebs. And also, let's move you guys in the room a little bit. It's a bit sm They're a bit smaller than I'm used to. Uh, but can I'd like to burn down some of these cobwebs. Yeah, sure, you can just burn. You just keep going. Yeah. And as you do so, you... As you're burning more cobwebs, you notice that... There are shapes within the cobwebs that just catch fire. Hmm. The corpses of many spiders. Hmm. Strange that all these spiders are dead, but you know, could be worse. Are any death. of them, uh, human size? Nope. Just... Hmm. Nope. You guys can roll me null of nature if you want to find out why. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe sure. it's the aura des desecration. Who knows? The aura desecration doesn't affect it because there's no undead here. Me too. Cool, yeah. Yes. Alright, Tenny, you figure out the reason that there there are a lot oh, of spider don't. corpses is probably because this room has been sealed for a while. These spiders have probably been oh, waiting so for the know. longest of times, but no one came, and as such, starved to death. Mm. So oh, poor thing. Or they didn't resort to cannibalizing each other. Yeah, Liam, they, they, they just starved to death. Yeah. Also, I can't really... I, I don't have a rank in... Or a proficiency that, or rank in it. Yeah, that's... That's uh, that's fair. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and open that door, because I'm assuming we see it at this point. Yeah, um... Alrighty. Let's see. Is it... Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. Also, does anyone pull that rope? What rope? The rope that was in the center the of the room. The one that was leading to the ceiling. There was? Yeah, there was a rope yeah. in the center of the room. Oh. I missed that. Sorry. Yeah, anyways. Uh, -huh. uh can I try and investigate like whatever it's attached uh, to? Perception. Okay. Twenty-six. You look yeah. up and you sort of peer through the cobwebs and you use your pen just to clear away some of them. There appears to be some kind of bell up above you. And this is the rope. 
Oh, you're you, the bell. Up here. You guys are in the belfry. Don't ring it. No, I don't trust bells after what happened. Ready, uh, do, John, do not ring it. That's entirely fair. Okay. Oh, so what happened with the bell? Oh, I don't remember. Remember the bell tower with the uh, the lamia? Oh yeah, no fuck bells. I hate those things. The thing where you and guys had the worst luck just climbing a tower. Yeah, I, they had I the worst luck. Like, I was fine. You could fly. You're fine. I flip it yeah, off, Adrian, and also I was fine. Died. I was basically yes. parkouring through everything. But I uh, basically I just flip off the uh, the uh, the bell right with the uh, fire hand. She only has three fingers, but uh. Wait. Uh, I flip it off with the index one. What do you mean flip it off? Oh, you just you know you just pulled the bird. Yeah. All right, pull, yeah, you, pull, you pull the bird. Yeah, there were bats in the belfry. Yes, yes. Let's make. So that which which finger would that be declared as though? Like for the 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 hot hand. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, Liam. You open the room, and the first thing that strikes you is a flash of gold in the light of your torches. The plundered riches of Strahd's secret hoard lie before you. <laughs> you see within this little area here is a small pit filled with more gold, silver, platinum gems than you've probably seen in your life. Think that we could probably, uh, you know, give this to the town or something. I'm gonna say this: the, use for it. if you're gonna carry anything out here, you you would need chests to actually carry all of it. There is too much. <laughs> Looks at all the chests that we took. So, would you Looks like? All the chests that we grabbed. Would you like me to tell you what's here? Yes. There is fifty thousand copper pieces, ten thousand silver pieces, ten thousand gold pieces. A hundred platinum. Fifteen thousand. Oh yeah, no, sorry. Fifteen, uh, fifteen gems, roughly valued at a hundred gold pieces each. I'll give you that one. A single gem that is valued at you know one thousand. And for people that have it, would you like to roll a detect magic? Yep. I don't have that. Not anymore, you don't. Detect magicus. <sighs> I just realized Torrent is actually just an Olympic swimmer now. Like, my swim is plus 10, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Never needed to use it again, okay. sadly enough. With Detect Magic, you detect from within the magic pile several magical signatures. Specifically coming from a sword, a glaive, a ring, and a wand. They're all spellcraft on these things. You may in fact do that. Starting oh, shit, off with a sword. The sword. Or you, it's not hard to miss because it's glowing. That is in fact a glowing plus two uh, longsword. Or... Boy. Yeah, I know, I see the glaive. Take it. Ow. But, uh, yeah, first, gla uh, I gotta spellcraft the glaive as well. Cool. 28. So, the glaive. Alright. So, looking at the glaive, and, uh, do you guys actually go and get the thing? Yeah. yeah. Cool. The glaive itself, you note, is of an odd shape. For coming off of it is in fact a bit of a glowing red aura. And written in Draconic. Who here can read Draconic? Hi. Liam and Torrin, I'm pretty sure. I don't have it, oddly enough. I only have Orcish, still. I have a lot of languages I could learn, but that's for a later time. I really would like to learn Draconic, though. Yep. I can <laughs> teach you. Anyway, I, mean, right. I know Draconic. Yep. What does it say? Written on it in Draconic, 
is the word the tumultuous. Mm. And with that mm. spellcraft, you recognize this as a plus two shocking glaive. Yeah, I'm gonna hand it to Ravnag. Nice! Cool. So, uh, Ravnag. Don't it, break this one. It's a plus two glaive, and it uh, does an additional d6 of electricity damage. And last but not least, you, That's have a, awesome. you have a wand as well as a ring. Oh, damn. And uh, only wearing one ring, right? Spellcraft. Uh, I'll spellcraft the ring. The ring appears magical. This is, in fact, a ring of protection plus two. Hmm. I would like that. Okay. And last but not least, you have the wand. Don't you already have a ring of protection? No, that's me. I'm... I don't have a ring of protection. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. What about the wand? Yeah, let's just do that so you can actually see what's going on. Oh yeah, I should probably roll for it, shouldn't I? 29. 29 for uh, the wand? Yes. That is a wand of lightning bolts with about 30 charges left. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Liam, you want that? I'm sure he's the one who can actually use it. Huh. Yeah. I only have three. I only have three ranks and use my magic device for a feat. Anyone can. Oh. Yeah, but you need to use. It's a DC to be able to magic use device. magic device. It's a DC twenty on use magic device. <clears throat> yeah, I have a plus two. Yeah, I have a plus. Because apparently, plus using magic device is charisma. Yes. No, because the whole thing is Which that you're trying to convince no the sense. thing that you are in fact what you say. It's like, yeah, cure moderate wand, uh, cure, yeah, you know, cure moderate wounds wand. I'm totally a cleric. Do the thing. You actually have a higher plus than I do right now. Um, fun fact. Um, there is a country called Rasmoran, wherein the leader of that in Galarian is. Um, there's a regular dude, but they're trying to be a god. And their clerics aren't clerics, they're sorcerers that have cure moderate um, wound wands in their arms. And they all of them get like advances in um, use magic device just to you know, use the wand. It's like, oh yeah, I'm totally a cleric here. Healing or whatever. Here's the healing words. Yeah, he here's the heal. I I'm totally a cleric. Believe in Rasmere. I, I actually that. don't have a rank in, in use in magic device. Right of the law. Mm. At all. Yeah. Pay me. Yeah, the rule is um, so long as you can cast it, um, you should be able to use the wand. Okay, well then. Yeah. So, yeah. If it's a, so if it's like something that he could, I don't know, learn, it would, it would be fine? Um, Lightning Bolt is on the Witch's spell list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So long as it's something that is on your spell list, you can cast it. Alright, like, then, the thing. yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, with that, I think I'm gonna have to dip. Alright, cool. See you guys. Alright. Thank you for having a good time. time. It's nice having you, man. See you, Denny. I you. will try not to kill you. Uh, I don't like that answer. I don't kill players when they're not here. Don't That's worry, fair. I'll protect you, man. I'll have them kill right. me instead. No, don't do that. Don't worry, uh, it'll be super awesome and epic, and then, I'm, like, someone will, like, look at it and be like, yeah, you guys sucks. have a good rest of the session. Hi. Thanks, you too. Hi. See ya. Cool. See ya. Later, man. Alright. So now you've stolen his bling. Good. You don't deserve it. Um, the strad sense of disturbance in the force. Son of a bitch, they took uh, my goddamn. Bling. They took my bling. Hey, <laughs> I'm I'm going to suggest gets in here and scoops up whatever she can in the bag of holding. I'ma be blunt. The money. I'ma be blunt. You may be better off coming back for this. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a lot. I mean, quite... It's, uh, there's quite more here than you guys can carry on your own, even with bags of holding. I know. Is it like Scrooge McDuck's vault? Yes. Basically, yes. God damn. God damn. It says bling. What did you expect? Oh, no. You give it to the town. No. Oh, well, you no, could. No, no. I, have an, I have a funny idea I for would. him. What if we just decide if he wants the bling? He can have it. What do you say, melted over Outside. his head or something? What does that mean? Well, there's a bell tower over there. What if we just drop a few thousand gold off the side? I mean, they're always coming back for it. Money like that's pretty useful. Yeah. So, uh, we say that we uh, go keep looking for Strahd and we get up when we do find him? Or hit him in the head with a few thousand gold. Uh, uh, that works too. Yeah. Or silver. Hey, do I have any? Vampires don't like silver. True. True. It is true. So, uh, we get like a sack or something, hit him across the head with silver, and then boom. You, like, just. Is an allergic reaction or something? We can use it for our weapons or something. I don't know. Craft it later. I mean, we, I mean, we could just get silver. But, yeah, understandable. So, should we be coming back for it then? Because uh, it's quite a yeah. lot. I don't think we can carry all this. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, what do you do? Exit. Alright, cool. So, yeah, wh wh which way are you going? Exiting. Alright, cool. Uh, you guys following me? Yep. Yep. Okay. Sorry, I moved for Taro by accident. I don't worry. It's fine. It, it's fine, it's fine. So you guys, yeah, you guys just move all the way back. And I'm just gonna get that. Okay, yeah, no, not that. Yeah, yes, here we go. Yeah, there we are. So, yeah. What you doing? There's a door to the south, there's a door to the north, and there is a door to the west. He came from the north, correct? Yes, you came from the stairwell here. So, Liam, you're heading south? Yep. Alright, we go south. Alright, cool. Yep, seems legit. Alright, hold your place while I get the description. I should help download. Yep, okay, it's 36. Cool. Oh shit, it's another dining area. Watch out for straw. Yep. You enter in here. Dust fills your lungs immediately. The musty smell of death and decay swells around you. Before you, a long table of polished oak lies beneath a blanket of dust. The rotting table cloth lies tattered beneath dusty china plates and stained silverware. In the center of the table, a large tiered cake leans heavily to one side. 
the once white frosting has turned green with age. Cobwebs drape like dusty lace down every side. A single doll figure of a well-dressed woman adorns the crest of the cake under thick layers of dust. A window in the south wall is draped with heavy curtains. What do you do? Okay. You would, okay, you're gonna have to move like all the way over here. Cool. I'd like to perceive. You poke the cake. Mold immediately encases your fingers. You pull it away, and the cake just suddenly crumbles. And my statement was complete. Oh, nice! Enough. Finally. Got it. And what'd you say? I said, um, and I thought he couldn't get much creepier, but he continues to prove me wrong. As we see here, Strahd plays tea time with his dogs. Uh. From what I see, people are always getting abused. So yeah, what do you do? Uh, oh no, I guess I'm investigate as much as I. This is an open hall, right? Um, no, the door here is closed. Give me a second, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't know. It was like that's fair. Walking past it, I didn't know if it was like supposed to be hidden or not. Yeah, no, that that that's fair. There is a window here that um, gazes out over Ravenloft itself and the lands of Barovia. Uh, and yeah, tomorrow, as you sort of search around the room, the one you don't really find anything of note except for as your foot steps on something. Can you look down? It's that of another doll, of a groom. That has long since been thrown off from the cake. <laughs> wow. Holy <laughs> uh, shoot. Continue, uh, continues walk. I, I do see this door though, right? Uh, which one? That one, one or to. that one? Uh, the one that I'm right next to. Oh yeah, you see that door. Oh, I'd like to, uh... I'd like to investigate William. It's... I'd, I'd like to perceive... It's a door. Anything's like, you know... It's a wooden door that just really can it. be opened. Okay. If it's not dangerous, then I open it. Okay, then. You open the door. Opening and peering in, a door of delicately carved, delicately engraved steel stands. Oh wait, no, it's steel door. Okay, a door of delicately uh -huh. engraved steel stands at the west end, never east. Yeah, of this dark hallway. Intricate details still stand out clearly on the door's surface. The door seems to almost shine with a light of its own, untouched by time. Yet on each side of this door, there is an alcove filled with a darkness that shames the night. A figure stands like a shadow within each alcove, still as the cliffs of Balanok. Mm. Huh. I'd like to... Uh, 
if I can, since you specified that this was a steel door. Yep. Tear that off its hinges. Alright, strength. It. Okay. You, you do that. No, oh, nice. Cool, so I'll just give me a sec. <clears throat> <laughs> you you have a steel door. I don't know what you're doing with it. Uh -huh. You got you got you got it. That's a steel door. It could be pretty useful in battle. Okay. Huh. So what's the party doing? The one into the room. Which one? The one that Torn just ripped the door off. Okay. Up, ah, Torn. Stop there. There it is. I and uh, so, I question, Liam, are you where you are, or are you elsewhere in the room? Liam? And he died. Ah, okay, so it's just you two. Huh. Well, since it's just you two, for the sake of fairness, I think we're probably going to save this encounter for the start of the next session, so, you know. So, do they kill me? They get a sneak at well, not a sneak attack, but they get a surprise on you. Huh. Fuck. Uh, As there are now two. Ugly. Ha, fuck. Yeah, come on. Okay, yeah. There are, in two fact, wraiths. two wraiths that, as you walk in, huh. immediately come out beside you and give you the old bad uncle touchy. Toron, what's your flat footed? Flat footed? 18. 18. Okay, cool. <laughs> also, I'll tell you this much. Um, earlier before when I had you guys roll a d10, uh, option two was uh, actually going to be a d4 of raves. Well, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, these guys. Yeah. Um, so, I can just... I, I can technically headlock them, right? Uh, with the Draconicom, yep. Okay. Uh, Natural 20? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, rolling to confer, that doesn't confirm. Which is a good thing. Okay. Good. Okay. So is it only the one hitting? Uh, both of them hit you. Oh, uh -huh. So Convenient. First, first things first. You take seven points of negative energy damage. I'm going to tear you apart in your entire being. And this is where know. this gets evil. Annoying. Yeah, because you get Condrain. Condrain? You, your constitution goes down by six. Which means that six. your total hit points go down by 24. So that will put you at seven. Why is Temp being a bitch? What's going on? Hang I on. can't wait to be done with this shit, dude. That that's fair. Okay. Minus six con. Okay, so this is this is being annoying. Okay, cool. So let's see. So let's see. That is going to be eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Let's see. So that would put you at ten hit points. And that would put that at. Man, is there a way to like you know just have this? Not happen, you know, like have this be unhappened, you know, like, you know, um, like so I can actually be effective. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, you're still effective, it's just that you got Condrain. Okay, but I'm gonna have to sleep for several weeks, dog. Several weeks. Uh, that order just get someone to do, um, whatchamacallit, um, restoration. From what? 
we're in a tower. That's yeah. Which we that's, finished exploring. That's going to be a problem. So yeah, that's going to be amazing. And also, we have a fucking vampire we need to fight. Now I'm, 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 I'm at and hit points. Fucking amazing. Awesome. Truly. I understand that this is a difficult situation. I know. Can I fuck these guys up? We will... We will have this One encounter. Turn. One turn. Okay, would you guys like a single turn? Here. Oh, so, Liam, are you back? Yep, yep, you are. In that case, I would like everyone to roll for me some initiative. We will do a single round of this. And then we are probably going to call a session. Okay. Sorry, that had me miffed. Like, genuinely. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, mm yep. <clears throat> That's hilarious. That is tragic. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got Adriana, and then we have Teddy. Okay, that's Adriana. Then we're gonna have Teddy. Cool. And last but not least, the leg. Wait a minute, no, that rave did not get 13. Did I get four? He did not get 13. He no, they get both four. rolled 18 plus their absurd modifier. I get angrier and angrier with every moment that passes. Mm. Top of the round, it's the race go. <laughs> I'm going to Could roll. I'm going to roll dice to see who they go after. One, two, three, four, five, six. Torn, you are six. Okay, neither of them go after you. Instead, this Wraith is going to phase through and attack Adriana, and this one is going to phase out and attack Ramvig. Attack of opportunity, of course. Yes, you do get an attack of opportunity. Do you have combat reflexes? Combat reflexes? As a feat. Me? Yes. Alright, cool, you get two. Yeah, double check. Double check. Let me just double check so I don't actually. Actually, no, I. I'm pretty sure I. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should. I, I more than definitely should. What the fuck? Uh, martial flexibility. Uh, uh, martial flexibility wouldn't apply on this circumstance. I know. Yeah. I know, but it's just. Uh, for fuck's sake, I thought I had this on. I. I uh, fuck. Okay, I'm looking at your feet. Uh, I know it's not in there, but. It would appear no. However, you get one, and this would be against number one. So, uh, this would probably be the claw attack. The claw attack? I thought I had my scythe on. Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. Wait, do you have your scythe? Oh, yeah, well, let's go to the scythe, yeah. Yeah. Do for me a scythe yeah. attack. Okay. That's Are definitely gonna fucking hit. Alright. Sorry, they pissed me off. That's what I want. That is. 16. 16 damage. As your scythe slices into this thing as it just vanishes through the wall and out the other side. Ravig! What is your touch AC? 10. Oh dear. I need to roll. I need to get the crit fail chat out again. Huh. 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 You're talking all that good shit before, then you got kicked in the chest. 
Uh, roll for me 2d12. Let's let's see what this thing gets. Ravig, 17. It has now shaken and runs away. <laughs> so that just... And then Adriana is going to get hit. She takes one point of negative energy. And then... Ah... Takes six points of Condrain. Man, everything's just bad here, huh? Wait a minute. Only six points. That would technically yeah. uh, bring her unconscious. Oh. However, the player isn't here, so I'm going to level this. They are unconscious, and they are not dying. Because I'm not going to be that guy that just kills people while they're not here. However, they are going to lose some max hit points. 39. Alright, cool. And that's that Rafe's go. Adriana is currently unconscious. What would you like Tenny to do? Ugh. Kick its ass. Okay, Hard. cool. Alright, Tenny is going to pull out the corrosive longsword. Five foot step. Do they have any buffs? Yeah, they're gonna swift action sturdy target, which is a thing I think they can do. And both of those are going to, in fact, hit. Allow me to do a bit of tallying up real quick. So let's see, it's 14 plus 5 plus 14 plus that. Cool. And grabbing forth the long sword in both hands, she takes two swipes at this thing. Damaging its incorporeal form. Liam, it's your go. Liam? I am going to attempt to try to take okay. control of it. Okay. Okay, are you uh, using control on dead uh yeah, control on dead or are you using your ability? Um, As a reminder, this thing has too many hit dice for your ability to work. Okay, cool. Uh, cast a spell. Actually, how many of that did you have prepared today? I had two. Alright, cool. So this is this would be your last one. Alrighty. And it is going to... It needs to make the DC. Unfortunately, it's just going to beat it. Great. As you... Harness forth the necromatic energies and you attempt to control this thing. It pisses though for a moment, it, it's under control, but then it just shakes it off. It is unfortunate, but that then the dice. Mm -hmm. 
Is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, move out of the way of torrent. That is entirely fair. <clears throat> Ranvague. I could try out my new glaive. That is true. Have we set up the macro for that? No. No, All I right. haven't. In that case, give me a moment. I think that's how you spell tumultuous. Uh, yep, so that's melee, and it's a plus two, and it has 1d6. Think and what's it, the full restore? Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I yes, that's that. And then we add. All right, you have all your feet and stuff. So let's see. That's uh, plus one to hit. That's plus two damage on top of that. That that should so that be that, and then that's gonna be four plus. Yeah, it's just gonna be that. Okay, cool. I don't think the macro is a hundred percent perfect, but for the time being, it's. It's close enough. So yeah. I could only do overhand though, couldn't I? Once I move within range. Uh, you you only have to move five feet because it's a, a reach weapon. You you just you just have to be there to bop it. Yep. So yeah. All right. Grabbing out the tumultuous, you bring it on ahead and you swing it down and bring it up. I'll give you a free reel on that because you just got this thing. Let's not destroy it immediately. <laughs> the penitent one gets fucking destroyed. Again. Oh, Do it again. Nope. No, 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 uh, no, no. No. Let me, let me guess. Three in a row? Three in a row? Finally. Okay. Right. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. The first one will hit. The second one, unfortunately, is going to miss. However, you bring up and you rolled max damage on that. On, on both the shocking and the glaive damage. You bring it up and slam it down on this thing's head. And then you immediately uppercut into its form once more as more of it starts to shred off. <laughs> And, uh, uh, unless you have anything else you want to do in your turn? No! Alright, cool. Torrent! Stepping out. What time to eat? Stepping in. It's another. And, um, he touched me, so I'm going to immediately destroy you. Cool, you get one attack. That is definitely gonna hit. 17. Cool. Your scythe slashes through its incorporeal form as more of it starts to get rendered loose and it just starts to fade in and out of existence. However, it is not dead yet. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I will roll this one. So we're One, two, three. Oh, Liam. Uh, Torund, as well as Tenny, would get a attack opportunity if you want to. 
Wow. Roll for me a D100. Wow. Watch this, it's gonna be even equally awful. Watch this shit. You just oh, missed. Never mind. You're fine. Okay. And let's see, does a Tenny hit? Yep, that's gonna hit, and... <laughs> oh, they do. Okay, I need to... Okay, let's see, that's gonna be... Okay, so... This thing is now on zero hit points, which means it's now staggered. Meaning it can't do anything. Hey, Leo, you wanna go take control of that thing? And it's now Tenny's turn. Actually, you know what? Tenny isn't here, so tell you what. We're just going to, you know, just get a five-foot step. We're going to let you guys deal with this one. Okay. Unless, of course, you want Tenny to finish it off. Uh. It's up to you guys. You're, you're the ones here. I'll, I'll beat the fuck out of it. All right, cool. Liam. He's not here right now. Okay, so in that case, we're just gonna five foot. Yeah. I... And Ranveig really and Torund, would you like to do a team attack? Team attack, sure. please. Yeah. Cool. Uh, both of you, please uh, make for me a single attack roll. Okay. Please, I'm fighting for my friend. Let my let my friend also be cool with me. So that means over hand shot for me. Yep. Uh, no, actually, just give me the, um, give me the, uh, the tumultuous. Because right. we'll, let's go with the first one. Both of those are going to hit. And your powers combined. You destroy the wraith as well as part of the table. Just throw up the air. I'm in spinning with the scythe. Yep, and My thus ends the exact. combat. And before we end session, does anyone have a healing potion you want to give to Adriana so they're not, you know... Yeah, I'll I'll say I'll give them a uh, uh, CL one. I've got a, I've, look, 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 I got you. I, oh, okay. All right, I'll I'll uh, torn. How many you using, my dude? Uh, let me just check real quick. Gear monitor, gear monitor rune CL three using one of those. Yep. Okay. Cool. So that's two D eight plus three. Two D eight plus three. Yep. Roll for me that bean footage. Cool, she heals 13 points. Torn being the best healer of the party. Yep. And with that, after doing that, she is going to wake up a little worse for wear. As all of you continue to tread on through Castle Ravenloft. And it's here I'm where we're going. It's here where we're going to call session. I've lost my 69, what the fuck? Tis unfortunate. Uh, but yes. Why is the world nothing but a cruel, uncaring thing? Mm. Yeah. Suffice it to say? I'll have to watch the vid for, for what I missed. Yeah. Uh, effectively what you missed is, um... Um... You guys just finished off the Wraith. If you want to see more of Carl, I'm posting him in the character creation. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway. anyway. So yes, we Good will night. reconvene next week, wherein uh, you guys will... Can hopefully you guys continue to explore uh, around a bit more, and, you know, maybe Strahd will appear again. I don't know. I'm not like it, man. <sighs> hey, Strahd, is it cool if you give us a full restore? Like, that'd be, that'd I'm be sorry, awesome. but I, I'm not the one that do that. Maybe you should take a sleep. Uh, I would, but, you know, I don't trust you to leave me alone while I do. And also, you might get stronger, so... I mean, that's up to you. That's still not disproving any of the things that I said. Is now a good bad time to mention that I have a lot of raves in this tower? Yeah... Yeah, I know. 
I'm actually for the arrest. So, for for the sake of kindness, Mr. DM. Uh huh. Like, um, is he, is that health bar gonna stay dead? That depends on what you guys do. Okay. I'll give you this one. I mean, it will regenerate after an amount of time. However, that amount of time has not occurred yet. Is that a night? Does that happen to be a night's I rest? I cannot tell you. God damn it. In any case, we will reconvene next week where, I don't know, we'll, we'll, maybe you guys fight Strug, maybe you guys find some more magic items, maybe you don't, maybe one of you dies, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we shall find maybe. out. Maybe. Next time on Dreadlord for Life. Peace.